Greetings, uh, everybody. Uh, as promised, this is the second uh, bulletin um, that focuses on the trade and economic affairs uh, research based on the SONA 2024 presidential input. So I'm going to quickly do a, a highlight on some of the issues that we've uh, that the president spoke about and also some of the issues that we want to cover. The president acknowledged the strides made since apartheid in terms of dealing with the economic development. He acknowledged the challenges, uh, global finance crisis, state capture, COVID, and continued struggles with crime, corruption, corruption, and also um, unemployment, job creation. Job creation through economic growth was addressed. The president stressed the um, the the government's efforts to attract investment, stabilize the energy, and also unlock our economic potential. He also addressed the energy crisis, outlining plans to address low shedding and also invest in renewable energies like solar and wind power. The president also noted that we've laid a solid foundation for growth and also far-reaching economic reforms, as also dealing with the ambitious drive of infra infrastructure program and also that is yielding the results. The president further noted that we will continue to position our economy to grow and compete in a fast changing um, world and also to support small businesses and also give young people economic opportunities um, and also to provide social protection for those that uh, cannot work. Uh, we will also use the opportunities from the African Continental Free Trade Agreement to increase trade and also expand our, our industries. So, Specifically, what the president spoke about, the SONA priorities for trade in industry um, and economic affairs, these are the priorities, especially economic zones. Um, who buy, drive uh, investment in the green energy, the supply of electrical vehicle manufacturing in South Africa to grow our own automotive uh, sector, special focus on regions like Mpumalanga, to look at creation of new industries, new economic opportunities and sustainable jobs, roadmap to stabilize performance in Transnet, as well as dealing with the reform in the logistics sector, auction of the broadband spe spectrum, resulting in new investment and also low to date, low, lower data cost, um, as well as dealing with the regulations reformed the visa system, which makes it easier to attract and retain the skills to our economy. Raising of the 1.5 billion trillion rand, sorry, in investment, which uh, of which 500 billion has already flowed into our economy, supporting uh, the growth of the mining sector, modernizing our mining rights licensing system, as well as uh, exploring or launching the exploration of our funds and support emerging miners. Uh, in the sector. In terms of international relations, President has noted uh, South Africa's role on the continent of Africa, uh, peace agreements um, dealing with uh, Gaza, IJ, ICJ, uh, BRICS, um, after uh, G20, basically South Africa playing an important role in economic diplomacy and also securing opportunities, economic opportunities for our people. As members of parliament, what are our key oversights? We need to ensure that uh, the special economic zone in the Northern Cape, uh, Buhu, by, um, that will attract the green energy, which set up um, investment facilitation, that money is realized and ensure that uh, it translates into meaningful um, economic opportunities and more importantly, sustainable jobs. Uh, investment support program of the electrical vehicle and also the black industrials continue growing that project. We have currently black uh, uh, industrials currently employing more than 90,000 people. So these are some of the opportunities and priorities. We need to ensure that we create the jobs that is needed. This is the big issue that we need to focus on. Um, the, the industrial program is increasing 2% from 2020, 2004 to well over 29% to 2024, um, creating more than 200,000 uh, jobs um, and also creating a more sustainable and inclusive uh, uh, economy. Uh, more needs to be done, but I think that is useful uh, progress around this. Um, the transition of new energy vehicles, the um, electrical vehicles, the black industrial program. For small business, uh, I think there is uh, room for improvement. Uh, there's access to finance. 
there's more than 10 billion uh, SMME fund available through the township and rural program. Um, and so we need to ensure that the credit gap we, we be shortened. We need more money for small business. And the economy gap is 350 billion is the anticipated amount for access to finance in the small sector. Access to markets, we, we're looking at measures taken to address this. Um, many SMMEs are appealing for assistance to get them, their products to the markets, sell them and grow their businesses. Uh, energy crisis have been an uh, impact, but there also has been the um, energy bounce back gar loan guarantee scheme, which supports rooftop solar over 12 months um, until this year, 30th of August. Uh, rate tape reduction, there's also that's uh, being planned, as well as some of the other issues. Uh, uh, SMME is looking at assisting unemployed youth. Uh, who don't have the resources to 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 grow, monitoring and participation, renewable energy. We need to look at how does that building of 14,000 new lines of transmission translate into opportunities and work. Automotive, we spoke about, mining, exploration, fund, construction. Um, these are all projects that is uh, in the pipeline, and we need to ensure that these projects ensure uh, greater job creation. We also need to leverage uh, more opportunities in the pi uh, private sector. These are the key oversights that we need to, as members of parliament, focus on. It's the um, oversight in the state-owned enterprises, ensure they improve productivity, reduce the load shedding uh, by adding capacity to the grid, restructuring of ESCOM to ensure that uh, greater competition and also reduce the electricity cost, increase investments in the all state on enterprises, improve the operation and financial sustainability of all state on enterprises, dealing with vandalism and copper theft, and uh, in, indeed making examples of those that are, are stealing uh, from the grid. Um, I think the priorities for SONA, uh, the president focused on the debt relief package for, for ESCOM, additional electricity to the grid through his renewal program, the, the transmission line of 14,000 line is, has already been spoken to, logistics, uh, freight logistics, the uh, president spoke about uh, reduce the waiting time for ships in Durban um, and also getting the trucks off our roads and also improving our rail and network uh, system, modernizing the license system as well as uh, key issues. We spoke about the oversight, uh, the priorities for energy and uh, mineral resources are uh, we adding another 2,500 2, megawatts of renewable energy on the grid. So this will come online as soon as possible. Uh, the Northern Cape is uh, getting an economic boost in terms of its uh, special economic zone in Buhul's um, Bay, um, which will focus the green uh, energy. Um, and those are some of the key issues. With respect to Department of Labor and Employment, um, the president's employment stimulus and expanded public works, that is where the big jobs are created. We want to reduce youth unemployment. There is a SA Mobi website. We want to assess the effectiveness of this as a zero-rated platform. We don't need data. We will where we provide learning and earning opportunities, especially for young people, job creation and growth for, for our people. Um, so Sonia indicated that there's a special need to focus on the the youth between age 15 and 24 to ensure that they're either in education or in employment. Uh, we need to ensure that the president employment stimulus project expanded public works and we've identified 1.7 million work opportunities and livelihoods there. Ensure that we push quite hard to ensure uh, more jobs come on stream the placement of 1 million school assistants in the 23 schools have been identified, uh, youth engagement platform, job creation opportunities, so people and our young people must take these opportunities, as well as uh, creating uh, more positions for blacks uh, uh, in the workplace, uh, significant improvement in the executive management positions uh, so that we can promote uh, inclusivity and um, redress. Um, international relations, uh, we we know uh, 
uh, as our, our our minister, we uh, we've seen how we're pushing quite hard to reposition South Africa in the world, uh, dealing with um, economic planning. Argue that government must be a global and regional policy making, and we also need to look at how we build our uh, economy. Um, on peace and stability in Africa, uh, we need to silence the guns. Um, we still will play a, a role in trying to bring the Ukraine. Um, Russia conflict uh, to uh, negotiations. Uh, we're encouraging that we need to engage in peace efforts for the Palestinian matter. The president argued quite strongly the principle of human rights and the freedom that underpins South Africa and why it's important for us to take up the issue. Um, we have welcomed the ruling of the International Court of Justice, uh, which says that we must prevent acts of genocide against the Palestinians. We see continued ongoing uh, um, uh, attacks uh, uh, by the Zionist uh, Israeli occupiers um, on the Palestine every day. Um, South to South uh, cooperation, BRICS is a key thing, and then the African Continental Free Trade Agreements and the G20, some of the key issues that we've that we've had, highlighted. With respect to communications, SA Connect is the, the national broadband project which wants to ensure universal access um, for all South Africans, prioritizing our rural, underserved, and township areas. Phase one was connecting government facilities. Phase two is connecting internet access. Uh, last year, we looked at uh, 882,000 connections and uh, almost close to 4 million connected in this year. Um, so that the broad span spectrum auction is being dealt with and the aim is to reduce cost for, to communicate. Um, we need to monitor this households, when are they going to be connected and how to ensure that the price is so or lowered. The data cost is also an issue that it needs to be lowered and managed. At the same time, we need to ensure that the um, energy cost, uh, sorry, communication cost is managed. A key focus for this financial year would be uh, to keep uh, communication costs low, the remaining 21% of households to get internet access and the promised 3 billion budget is allocated for, for, for this. Um, thank you very much. I think that's in summary the key issues around the trade um, and employment, minerals, um, small business development. Hope this was uh, useful. Thank you very much.